Raise the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey guys, um, this is Nagato again, and basically, um, this is just part two from the original video on how to install Kexter X, and this is basically just the end result. Um, I do apologize. I'm still getting used to editing and stuff, so I'm basically this is just the easiest method for me to upload uh, this content for y'all. But essentially, this is how Kexter X looks like. So you'll get certain apps like the Store Preview right here. I think. It may not show on the screen. Yeah, I noticed that like any PS uh, live area app or certain like Sony play like the settings the trophy. It doesn't show using uh this UCDC um what you might call it. God, I forgot the name. The SUPRX basically the stream. Um, but you got package installer here as one of your features. Yeah, so you can see. If I had content manager assistant set up on my PC, you get some of that. You get the mini settings for QA on um, with this. So you get the debug settings. So you can go to game, fake space, uh, fake trophy earning. I could turn all that stuff on. Content downloader. That's basically for um if I wanted to download anything from whatever website. Uh, core dump. That basically froze my system i think oh no it didn't <laughs> yeah so that's core dump i think it leaves a dump file somewhere in probably vita shell um there's some cool little stuff in the settings it may not show i'm not too sure yeah so set it's not showing right now on the screen but basically debug settings is there if you scroll all the way down to the menu so there's your debug settings it's probably not going to show on the screen um, you got the store preview regional that's just one of some cool features um I'll show or I can't basically show you the trophy app because that's um a blocked app for that to live stream but for example if you ever wanted to know the content ID of your name without going into Vita shell um, for example there's a debug utility and I could do a check of basically any module for stuff I think this application may not find it because it's a dump of it let me try maybe another module or yeah so I could see check that yeah so there you go I'll tell you the title ID um some just like system information how much space to use on a memory card um, the param.sfo the size um just basically a lot of debug stuff uh, like the ebu bin so basically the um this method for kex to rex does work um it may take one or two three times depending on your system uh due to it rebooting and it takes about five to ten minutes to install um but to revert back to kex to rex if you let's say it's not for you and you decide not to go with it you'll just go back into the vpk and then you press circle to un uninstall and it basically will replace um, its original uh, files for VSO so it'll look like a, basically a regular retail Vita. But other than that, that's how you install Kex to Rex on your PlayStation Vita and basically it emulates, or I shouldn't say emulate, but um, basically it fakes being a test, a test kit with certain uh, programs. Um, my name is Nagato, thank you for watching. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone who has been supporting my channel thus far, um, dealing with all my quirky editing and not so best quality. Um, as the channel progresses and as I get, you know, better at this stuff, the quality should go up. But I just want to say thank you for everyone who has been re retweeting my stuff, um, has been posting it via, you know, on articles and blog sites. I really do appreciate that. Um, with that being said, I'm out. Thank you, guys.